Hey everybody, this is Michael McCarthy here. In this video, we're gonna take a look how to use Ornatrix to create some trees and shrubberies and other sorts of foliage uh, like that. Ornatrix version five um, expanded on the propagation modifier to really give us a lot more ability to create things like this. So of course, usually, you know, using Ornatrix, you're creating hair for characters, animals, other things like that, maybe some grass and things of that nature, but you can actually implement this in your pipeline to do full-on foliage, trees, and other things of that nature. So here, you can see kind of what we're driving at. Uh, I built this palm tree uh, pretty easily um, using the propagation modifier, and this is what we're gonna look at here. This is gonna be a multi-part series because we're gonna talk about creating this type of thing, doing it in a procedural manner, and then actually being able to reuse it uh, in a preset, as well as using some proxy objects in order to get even more detail. Now what you can see here is we have kind of a three stage setup where we've created our guides and we've done given them a little bit of a bend and then we've gone in and started to propagate different things like branches, add some gravity to those branches, and we have a lot of control over how we can do this. So here we've added our leaves, some gravity to those leaves and uh, some different render settings so that when we push it up to mesh from strands, we can either have you know, a prismatic cylindrical mesh, we can have flat billboards if this was something that you wanted to have, and these can be facing the camera uh, if you want to have them in the background, uh, which is really nice. And uh, of course you can have proxy objects as well, which we'll look at later. So the nice thing about this is you can adjust it in a lot of different ways. So if I come down here to surface comb and I decide, you know, I want these to, I'll just turn on show end result, be bent a little more, or a little less, I can do that. If I want to go in and say, you know what, that branch gravity is a little too high or a little too low, I get some nice real time feedback on that. If I go into the leaves, I could say, you know what, maybe too few or I need more leaves going on there and I can kind of get that going, as well as adjust things like their overall length, you know, at the tips, uh, if they're twisted, um, different things like that, uh, adjusting the fanning with graphs and with maps. So we have a lot of really nice ability here to create the different shapes and things of that nature. So we're gonna go through this setup 100%, and then we're gonna look at actually saving this out as a preset. Uh, we'll probably look at the presets and saving those out in our next video, but it's really pretty easy to do. If I just uh, go to unhide all, you can see that I have this little path here. And the beauty of this setup is our ability, just like you would creating any quick hair, so you can notice that we have our feathers and our fur ball, and we also have this palm tree here in uh, our groom setup. So if I just click on this and say create, well, there's my palm trees. So I only really need to create this setup once, and these ones even have little coconuts on them. And they're also getting material IDs. So if I have a material that's just set up for this, then I can just go and I can apply that, and it's gonna get all the right materials and all the right maps. And I can, again, go in and say, you know what, I need a lot more of these. Let me just go in and give myself uh, maybe 20. And I can also say, hey, you know what, I want to disperse these in a different way using a different root distribution. Uh, I could use painted maps for where I want these and all sorts of different great stuff. So the ability to create this once, still have the live ability to go in and tune. So again, if I go in here, uh, I can adjust so that these are um, bent over a little bit more or a little bit less, uh, is really great. You can create all sorts of different tree types, shrubs, things like that and propagate them out in your scene. Okay, so let's get started with a fresh setup. I'm just going to get rid of this stuff and we'll cruise over here. I'm going to get rid of this and we're just going to get started with a basic plane. And this is where we'll start out creating our palm tree. 